Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys 10 apps for college kids. Obviously, if you're a high school kid, you can use these as well, but some of these apps are more catered to college students. Let's get started. So I just made this little folder called college apps really quick just to show you guys these specific apps. The first one is Todoist, and it's kind of a weird name, but it's supposed to be like to-do list. I don't know why they like named that, but whatever. So I'm gonna go into here, and as you can see, it's just a to-do list of everything that kind of comes to your mind, and you don't really have a due date for it, but you can just put it on here so that you won't forget to do it at some point in your life. So I know you have reminders as an app that comes with your iPhone, but I really like this app because you can color code it really nicely. As you can see, you can name the colors. So last semester I did four of my classes, and then I did KD events, because green is Katie's color. And then I did purple for VP PR assistant. Then random thoughts, which doesn't really go into any category, was orange. And then YouTube and vlog, light blue, errands, teal. And then, like I said, all my classes. It's really great for homework, papers, or even a grocery list. This really helps me to keep my life together and not forget anything. The next one is tiny calendar. And this one is pretty much just like the calendar app on your iPhone. But like I said about the last one, you can color code this a lot better than the regular calendar app because I think you can only color code that one to like a specific email. So I use that one as a family calendar app to see like where everyone is or like what everyone's doing. But for this one, I plan all my stuff out to like the exact time. As you can see here, I said wash comforter right when I got up. So for this day, August 5th, I am planning on uploading a vlog. It's really easy to schedule posts and videos on this. You can look at it from a monthly view and just like pick the days you wanna upload kind of thing. So I put Cancun vlog here and I colored that purple. It's really hard to balance a sorority, school time, YouTube, and everything else in your life. This app just makes me so much more efficient and use my time wisely. Next is Uber. Uber is not only for DDing. You can also use it to get rides to busy parking lots or busy places somewhere you don't want to park. So for example, I used it when I went to a Braves game. I got the Uber to pick us up at my sister's boyfriend's apartment. And then we just Ubered to the Braves game and we didn't have to pay for parking. We didn't have to walk all the way from the parking lot to the stadium. So that was really nice. And as you can see, I think Uber Eats is a thing now. So that's really cool. I mean, if you're ever really hungry or late night studying in the library and you want something to eat, you could probably use Uber Eats. Next is the app Expense. This app is really cool because you can say when you got paid and then you can deduct like all your expenses for the day. So then it keeps up with your balance. So then you can kind of see how much you have left over for the month. Let's say I got an allowance of $50 every Friday. You can add that and say allowance, then add $50 category, let's say bonus default account. So then it puts it in place for that Friday, you got $50, so your balance is going to be $50. So then let's say on Saturday I am planning on going to a movie that cost me $12. So we'll say movie, deduct $12, then let's see, entertainment. So now when you look at it for the whole month, you see that I have $38 in my balance and it just really helps you keep accountable for what you have in your bank account, what you can spend, and how fast you can spend it. Next, we have an app called Slice. This is really cool because it tracks all of your online packages. I have been obsessed with online shopping recently, so this app was so nice to have. Because as a college student, you really don't have time to search through every email and look at every individual tracking number and see when it's gonna be shipped out. So this app has it all in front of you on one app. So as you can see, one of my packages are out for delivery today. Next is Amazon, and I bet you guys all know what Amazon is, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys are a college student or going to college, you can get six months free of Amazon Prime. That means you can get two day shipping, sometimes even the same day delivery. It just depends on like where it is or like what it is. I loved it so much that I decided to purchase it for the whole year. And let's just say I've been taking advantage of the two day shipping. I literally get like a package almost every other day. So that's pretty bad. Apparently you can also stream movies and music. I haven't personally tried it, but 
might as well try it if you're getting it for free, right? If you're not like an Amazon lover, you probably don't know this, but Amazon isn't just for like electronics or I don't know, just like random things. They also have like clothes and shoes on there. I actually got two pairs of shoes and they're probably my favorite shoes in my collection. I got like knockoff Birkenstocks for $15 and they lasted me so long. So if you ever need anything, check Amazon first because they probably have it for much cheaper. Next is Waze and obviously I can't really show you anything in this app just because I'm not driving right now. I really like this app better than the map that comes with the iPhone because it usually takes you the fastest route and it also looks out for cops. It could possibly save you hundreds of dollars from a speeding ticket. So I really recommend this app for driving back and forth to college because that's when like the cops hide out on those like sketchy highways, you know? Next is Quizlet. This app allows you to make flashcards on the app itself. So you no longer have to carry a rubber banded stack of note cards anymore because obviously you carry your phone around everywhere. So if you have free time, you can really quickly study wherever you are. You can play games like match or learn or you can even take a test and that's what I usually do. I like to do multiple choice tests because I feel like I learn better that way. The next app is Buzzfeed and this app is like the coolest app ever. Like I know we all like to procrastinate. If we have a paper, you know, you might be on Instagram, but Instagram doesn't last you a while. You probably go through your feed and then refresh the page like a thousand times and nothing ever shows up. But Buzzfeed has such cool things like they have like makeup videos, they have life hack videos, they have food videos, those are my favorite. They also have educational articles so you can learn while you procrastinate, you know, at least you're doing something, right? And the last app is Time Hop, and I literally love this app. I go on it every single morning. You can set a notification to remind you every morning to look at it. Sometimes I feel like kind of homesick and I just miss everyone back home, so I go on here and look at all the amazing memories throughout my years. So you can actually link all your social media accounts to this app, and then it will pull everything that you did on this day the past years. For example, last year on this day, me and Ryan went to Lake Eola for the first time ever. It was raining and it was actually really nice and we just got to walk around. And as you can see, he's like carrying me over this puddle. Oh my God, he's literally the best boyfriend ever. I don't know, I just really like looking back on memories. I think it's super fun. That is it of this video. And let me know if you already have some of these apps and which one's your favorite. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ufus boy, let me love boy, what you know. Ufus boy, let me love boy, what you know. Ufus boy, let me.